to welcome you to the ECUA Biosolids composting site. We're going to have a uh, quick tour of the facility, show you how ECUA is converting biosolids and uh, yard waste into a valuable compost product for use in the area. So did you know that all the yard waste that you set out for collection at home and collected by ECUA comes to this facility here and it's ground up with a big tub grinder. So the ECUA composting process is called the modified static aerated process. The first step in that is laying down this bed of yard waste. This is the ground up yard waste that we saw before. And this is a bed that is ready for receiving the biosolids. On top of which more yard waste is placed. And then if we come back over here, we're gonna see this big machine this big yellow machine, and we'll see that next, is going to then come in here and turn that pile and mix it completely thoroughly. You see in here, this big machine straddles over the pile of compost, and that drum in the middle spins, and it draws the material in, it lifts it up, it mixes it, it aerates it, and it deposits it then back out to, on the back end in a beautiful windrow. So you can see how those flails, like they actually, you know, the way the flights go, they just kind of, they bring everything into the middle. So like I say, it brings the outer edge in, folds it in, and, uh, and mixes it up. So the windrow turning machine finishes forming this windrow in this nice conical shape. But actually, as you come around here, you see that it's in a long windrow. This pile here is about 150 feet long, and there's multiple piles built. One pile is built every day. After the windrow is formed, then an inoculant, which is a, a special blend of microorganisms that enhance the compost process, is placed on top of the pile and spread along it. This is really the the special additive that is put into the compost process for what we call the MSAP, or Modified Static Aerated Pile Process. It may look like compost to you, but it's really full of billions and billions of microorganisms and a special community of microorganisms that help to enhance the process. Then a capping layer of aged yard waste is put on that. It's like an insulating blanket. It helps to hold the heat in, and it also helps to control odors. Now, the composting process really begins. And for the next 30 days, we don't do anything. We just let the microorganisms do their work. So the composting process happens at elevated temperatures. We call it thermophilic in the industry, but what that means is temperature loving. And the microorganisms love high temperatures. In fact, there's the high temperatures perform several different features. They accelerate the decomposition of organic material, they kill weed seeds, and they kill pathogens. We have here the temperature probe. This is one of our major devices for monitoring the composting process. And you can see the temperatures in this pile today are right around 145 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperatures actually are going to be monitored using these uh, wireless devices. That's a temperature probe and it sends a signal to the office. So every minute they can get information about the temperatures in their windrows. So the active composting process continues for about 45 days. So this pile here has finished the active composting and it's been moved here, ready for the next step of the process. So you can see there's big pieces of wood. These aren't gonna break down in 60 days, are they? But in the, amongst all of this, there's nice fine material. So how do we separate that out? That's where we come to the next big piece of equipment in this operation. This is a screening machine and it will separate out the large pieces of wood so that they can be used again in the composting process and it produces the fine textured compost. It separates those out with a series of star screens and discs and screens that separate out the fine material from the coarse material. So after screening, the fine textured compost will sit in another windrow like this. We call this a curing pile. During this part of the phase, the material further stabilizes and matures so that it is ready for use in agriculture, horticulture, many, many uses. We'll take a look at this right now. This is the finished compost. Nice, dark, 
humus-like material. It's excellent sources of organic matter. It's a micronutrients. It's really what we call a soil amendment. It improves the plant growth and has many benefits in terms of soil moisture holding capacity, uh, holding on to nutrients in the soil better, better porosity in the soil, and it also introduces a lot of microorganisms into the soil. And we know now that microorganisms in the soil help lead to healthy soil. This is one of the major ingredients for having healthy plants. After the compost is finished curing, ECUA then follows the U.S. Compost Council seal of testing assurance procedures for sending samples of the compost off to nationally certified laboratories where the material is then tested for its biological parameters, its chemical, and its physical parameters. It is uh, the nutrients, the agronomic properties, and the regulatory parameters, which make sure that this compost meets all the requirements. Well, I hope you enjoyed this brief little tour of the ECUA composting site, and I hope you're excited about composting just like I am. I really believe that simple technology is the future of managing organic materials. If you want any more information, please contact ECUA. Thanks very much.